From age 19 to 25, I walked the fields of death and destruction at the battlefield at Gettysburg, North America's bloodiest battle in history. It was on those fields of death and destruction as I led almost 100,000 visitors over six years. And I shared the stories of the men that fought and died there, that at times I would come to tears because I lived through their words, feeling the loss on that battlefield. That perspective of knowing that death can come tomorrow shapes everything that I touch in personal, in charitable, and in business. Here at a financial venue, I consider how I take that perspective of finite time and apply it to my financial company with three core values. Curiosity. It was a Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I was at an Armenian grocery store loading up on goodies. Now I'm Armenian by ethnicity, so I know the food. And I overheard a conversation in Armenian from one of the customers talking to the shopkeeper who owned the business, asking him what he will be doing for Thanksgiving and if he will be taking time off. And in Armenian, I heard him say, that yes, he will be taking that Thursday off after he closed the shop at 6 p.m. instead of 10 p.m. That struck my core as a child of an immigrant, of two immigrants. Work ethic. There is no work-life balance for him. Business is life. Work is life. Life is work because he's trying to make it for his family, as my parents did for me. And I couldn't help but be struck by that curiosity of what more does his story have to tell? How exactly does his personal and his work life fit together as it did for my daddy? And that's why when I started my company, I quit all the corporate stuff and established specifically combining personal and business for people like him. Second core value, empathy. It was 2 a.m. I was walking out of the library about two years ago, working late with deep focused work. And I remember seeing a man, a homeless man, looking like the tortoise in Tortoise in the Hare. He had his arms up puffed out over here with thick jackets on a brutally cold, zero degree, windy night in St. Louis. His arms were out because he was pushing all of his possessions with a, in a cart, moving like the tortoise, so slowly I could almost hear the pain of the cold in his bones. When I saw that, it struck my perspective, my core, because I could feel the same bone-chilling cold that he could, just 20 feet away. What's worse is that I got in my car and I didn't help him. I learned from my failures. I learned from the feeling I had when I got home and had respite from that cold, but wondered where he would be able to sleep tonight because he was unable to move because it was so cold. And the third core value is candor. When I was a little boy, I would go up to my teachers and correct my grades when they were wrong, but not to get a better grade, but to get a worse grade because I wanted to earn what I received. I would rather win with integrity. Curiosity, empathy, candor. Those are the core values and the reasons that I left being a star 
in corporate world in two corporations and started my own company with my values, my ethics, and my vision. Yeah. I know I rock that.